Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and I do apologize for the delay with the videos. Unfortunately, I was sick last week and also we had some house renovations the week before. In any case, I am back and this tutorial is going to be a very simple one. Uh, it's just going to be a basic scrolling effect with some text and uh, this is what it looks like. So nothing too fancy, but um, it's a very simple, subtle thing. And I did see this on a GSAP showcase website and I thought I'd try to replicate it. Obviously this is a much simpler version, but I'm sure you guys can style up your sections to make this look a lot better. But as far as the animation goes, it's quite simple. And I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do uh, is just create a new page here in Oxygen Builder. I'm just going to call this text animation for convenience. Publish, and then we will edit this in Oxygen Builder. Okay, so since we're going to be using the scroll trigger, what I like to do is create two buffer sections um, with a hundred viewport height, just so that we've got some room to scroll. So I'm going to put those in right now. I'm just going to put this to a hundred viewport height. And then I'm going to duplicate this section so we have one underneath as well. Okay, next I'm going to put my main section in the middle. That will be section number four here. And this is where I want to add all of the content. So first what we need is a header. And just for the example, I'm going to write here developer. I also want to add some text underneath. So we'll add some text here, just some uh, dummy text. Now I'm going to make this text a little bit bigger using a utility class here. So text L will make it a little bit bigger. And then I also want to limit the width of this text as well. So we'll do max width of uh, 50. Max width 50 there. Okay, nice. Next, I'm going to change the header here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So instead of editing the ID, I could just add a class to this. Uh, so we'll add a class here. We'll call this um, text animation header. And I'm going to make this uh, 20M like that. I do want it to go off the, the page like this uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to control it and make it come in at the end. I also want to add some letter spacing to this of uh, something like five viewport width, kind of spaced out like so. I'm going to save changes, just see what it looks like on the front here. So that looks pretty good. Um, I do want to see it without the letter spacing as well, just to make sure that it does fit. So that does fit on my screen. You may need to play around with your sizes just so that um, it fits. Um, you could also use different values like percentages so that it does always fit on uh, all monitors. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use this for now. One thing I don't like is the um, the space here and then the it's obviously not lined up with the letters. So I'm just going to indent this text a little bit and I'm going to add a class to this text as well. So we'll call this one text animation text. And then on here, I'm going to do a margin of uh, 20 pixels like that. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is just add the letter spacing back on this class. Letter spacing, it was a five viewport width. Dave. And the last thing I want to do is in motion page, if I have two sections, for example, with similar content, I want to trigger each iteration individually and we can use uh, the same trigger. So what I'm going to do is simply wrap the content here in a trigger. So we'll wrap it in a div and we'll use this as a trigger. Make sure that everything is inside there. I'm just going to rename this so it's easier for me to understand. So animation trigger. The class on here is text animation. So we'll do text animation trigger. And now what we can do is um, duplicate this section and change some content, for example. So I've just called this one animation for now, just as an example, and I'm going to save this. And now let's head over to motion page and add our animations. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new timeline here. I'm just going to call this uh, text animation. I'm going to select our newly created page, which is this one. And uh, once again, this is going to be a scroll trigger. I do want to lock it to the scroll bar. And I think for this one, I do want to leave it at one second. I think that's fine. Now I want this animation to take place around the top part here. So what I'm going to do here is change this to around 20%, change this one to 10%. And here we don't want to use the first element um, because we're going to use two elements here. We want to use a trigger to animate both of them at the same time. So what I'm going to do is use selector and remember the name of our trigger so we'll go back to oxygen grab this class name don't forget the full stop there and we'll use the trigger here and we also want to use the top as well on this one 
and we'll do the same okay so that should now target our trigger that we created the div all right so what we want to do first is animate this uh, heading here so i'm just going to use my scanner select the uh, header here the class that we created and what we want to do is we want to change the letter spacing so we'll go here we'll go custom letter spacing now remember originally we are using um, the viewport width so we'll change it back to zero viewport width so you can see now both of those headings are coming back to um, zero viewport width which is good that's what we want now another thing we want is to add kind of a, a border effect and for that I'm going to use a text shadow and then also we'll change the color to we can do transparent or we could just simply change it to the same color as the background whatever works for you so I'm just going to add a new one here for custom and I'm going to do text shadow and I already have a value over here, so I'm just going to simply copy and paste it. But I will put this in the uh, YouTube description so that you have access to it. Uh, basically, it is a text shadow, but it's just using uh, one pixel in each direction so that it kind of looks like a uh, stroke. And the final thing we need to do is change the color. Uh, so for the text color, I'm just going to try to match the uh, background color here. So I'm going to select this uh, like that. So it's pretty cool, we have a nice effect there. And the next thing I want to do, at the same time that this animates, I want this text to fade in. So I'm just going to make a new animation node. I'm going to target our text here, which was text animation text. And then we want this to go from an opacity of 0 to 1. And that should animate at the same time now, as you can see. Now the problem is, obviously, two sections are animating at the same time and because we're using a single trigger the simple fix for that is just to check this here so now they'll animate independently of one another like so so i'm just going to save this and view on the front end press this page so as you scroll down that comes into view like so. Now the um, the stroke there, it's a little bit small, so I could simply change the values to uh, two pixels instead. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna change all of these to two pixels. Save this once again. Now that is a little bit more severe, but let's just have a look on the front. Now I think uh, some displays will show this differently, but I think this looks much better. Now there are other ways to do this. You could just use uh, a stroke. Uh, an actual stroke, WebKit stroke, uh, but I thought I'd show you an example using uh, shadow, text shadow for this effect. I think that looks pretty cool actually. Um, once again, if the text does not fit, then just play around with the values. Um, you could use percentages so that it's always linear across each monitor. Uh, but yeah, it's a very simple <laughs> tutorial, but I thought I'd just get something out there. Uh, but I will try to make up for my lost videos. There you have it guys. So there you have it guys, a simple tutorial today. Thank you once again for always checking out the tutorials on our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to give it a like and do subscribe if you haven't already. And we will be back with another video very soon. Thank you.